so I've been working on this project for the past two days and I just cannot get it to work. The audio sounds terrible. No matter what I do or how I try to fix it in post, it's just not gonna work. I filmed it at the ACA in Tucson this year on my Canon 70D with my Rode microphone on top. Unfortunately, the settings were set to plus 20. That setting is garbage. I can't get anything to work. Any of my footage that was set on that setting is just unusable. I can't share it with you guys. You, you're not even gonna wanna watch it. So instead, I'm gonna share with you something that happened at the ACA with John Register. You see, after we got done filming, I sat down with him and we had a conversation about motivation and how Jessica's a motivational speaker and he's a motivational speaker. And even though I'm not a motivational speaker, I have a tendency of motivating people uh, just when I'm out and about in my daily life. So I told him this story. So I'm at this gas station, right? And this guy comes up to me and he's like, I just want to let you know that God has blessed me today for letting me see you. And that I think that you're so inspirational and I want to let you know that you're awesome. Now, I've been told as a child that God put me here on this earth for a reason and that I have a purpose and that's fine and all. But I feel like if my purpose here is to make other people feel good about themselves, that kind of sucks. And that's how I felt that day. I thought to myself, when is God going to bless me? And this is what John told me. He says, sometimes you have to bleed in order to lead. And that really stuck with me. What an amazing message for him. Now, it wasn't necessarily the one that I was looking for, but it was the one that I needed. You have to bleed in order to lead. Go check out John Register because he's an amazing athlete, he's an amazing guy in general. I loved sitting down talking with him. Hopefully he will be able to upload his podcast uh, of the interview with me and Jessica. So you'll get to hear a lot more of us over on his website. And Jessica, I just want to let you know that you should be celebrating you buying your new home. Just remember, you're making memories in your new house. So don't even worry about what's going on right now. Sit back and relax. I will see you next week.